to D or not to D. Hello and welcome to Do Try This At Home, brought to you by the Institute of Physics. We're making these films because we want to help parents and carers in the UK and Ireland get their kids excited and curious about the world around them. And you don't even need to leave your home to do it. My name is Lucy and you're very welcome to join me in my home. I managed to find a quiet enough corner so you can join me on a journey to the third dimension in a demonstration that I like to call the amazing shrinking coin. For this demonstration, you'll need a 10 cent coin and a two euro coin. If you're in the UK, you can easily switch this with a 1p and 2p coin, so long as you have one small coin and one large coin to work with. You'll also need a pencil, a pair of scissors, and some small pieces of paper. To get started, we're gonna take our 10 cent coin. I'm going to lay it in the center of the paper. Using our pencil, we're going to trace around the coin. Next, we're going to cut from the center of the circle so that we're left with a piece of paper with a hole in the middle. Now you can demonstrate to your family that the 10 cent coin can easily slip through the hole. Challenge them to try to do that with a two euro coin. So see if they can get the two euro coin to fit into the 10 cent sized hole without ripping or tearing the paper. It also might be a nice idea for everyone joining in if everyone had their own coin and piece of holy paper so they can try it a few times and then you can show them how it's really done. Bending the paper creates a third dimension so we can turn our round hole on a flat piece of paper into a slit across the bottom of a curved piece of paper. Of course our problem is still there. These points here and here are still too close together to allow the coin just to slip through. So this is where the creative bit comes in. Because we have folded the paper, we can very gently pull these points apart to allow the paper to fold like this. And so it can get wider without tearing to let the coin slip through. Just like that old saying, to D or not to D. A top tip if you're doing this with your family is to use fresh sheets of paper because the folds in the paper might give them a clue. This demonstration is all about getting your family to think like a scientist and to help them improve their problem solving skills. If you've enjoyed watching this video, then do give it a like and then maybe head on over to our website. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.